everybody, welcome back to my channel once again, this is Peter. And first off, I'd like to explain the green background behind me. As I've been saying in the last few videos I've made, I've been quite busy with work and I've been so busy, in fact, that I didn't even have time to edit the back. Normally I put some nice photographs to go with the stories I'm telling, um, but this is quite a raw video as it's still got the green backdrop in the background there. Okay, so that's that one explained. So what's today's video about today? It's, uh, we're gonna talk about something a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking about VPNs and if you've never heard of a VPN before what a VPN is it stands actually stands for virtual private network and it's something you might not have thought about if you go to Thailand why would you use a, a VPN well there's many different reasons when you log on to your internet through your service provider they will assign an IP number to you that identifies you that allows people to track you where you're going where you're looking you know shopping sites that sort of thing um, but why you would want to use a VPN is depending on what country you come from content changes depending on where you live for instance let me give you a very simple example um, Netflix I use Netflix in the UK uh, before I went to Thailand on my last trip, you know you always get a couple of dead hours in the day where you head back to your hotel room and, you know, you just chill out. Normally for me it's about four o'clock, it's too early to um, go out to eat, but it's it's kind of, um, you know, I've done what I want to do for the day. So you'll kick back and you want to watch a bit of TV. There's not a lot on normally in the budget hotels in the... Um, you know, on the on the TV service that they provide. Normally what I would do myself, I'd take my um, Amazon Fire Stick that has several movie pro, um, pieces of software on there. But the one I watch from the UK is Netflix, as I say. And before I went on my last trip, quite a while ago now because of this lockdown, before I went on the last trip, I was watching a series in the UK, uh, an American series called Fargo. You might have heard of it. And it's not the movie Fargo, it's a, a series and there's quite a lot of episodes. So I started watching the first couple of episodes in the UK and I thought this is quite good. What I'll do, I'll take the fire stick to Thailand and when I'm in the hotel room I can carry on watching Fargo and watch the rest of the episodes and that'll keep me occupied. And when I got to Thailand, plugged in the uh, Amazon fire stick, logged onto the internet, tried to, uh, looked for Fargo and it wasn't there. I couldn't understand it. Um, but what it is now after some research, I've, I've done quite a lot of research on this and the uh, VPNs. And what it, what it is, depending on what country you're in, content is different. So obviously that Fargo uh, episodes, they weren't, the, the program rather, it wasn't available in Thailand for whatever reason. And also another example, something, if you're, if you're in the States and you like old movies, just for an example, and you want to watch the Turner Network, you know, those old black and white movies normally. If you're in the USA, you can watch them. They're free of charge. But if you're in outside of the USA, you're not allowed to watch them. You can't access them. Now with a VPN, let's get back to the VPN. What it does, it kind of fakes your IP number. And when you use a VPN, you can actually tell it what country you want to appear that you're coming from. So for example, if you're, you want to watch BBC iPlayer, for instance, from the UK, and you're in Thailand and you're not able to watch BBC iPlayer, then when you sign up for your VPN, you basically tell it you're in the UK. And when BBC iPlayer, when you log on or you go to view it, what it will do, it will, it will make you seem to be looking, viewing their material from the UK. The same with the um, Turner Network Example, if you were in Thailand and you wanted to watch a movie from the Turner Network, you just tell your VPN that you're in the States and when it checked, it would see you as logging on from the States. So that's basically what a VPN does. Um, other ways in which it's helpful, online banking. You know, if you use online banking, which we all do now, if your online banking recognizes you from your country, it's normally very, very simple. But if suddenly you start logging on from other locations around the world, such as Thailand, then the security measures put in place are far more stringent and you'll just find it a lot more difficult to log on to your internet banking. It's all the hassle factor. You don't want it, basically. So let's talk a little bit about these VPNs, which ones you should use. I've researched them quite a lot now. A lot of them are free, but it's the old saying, you get what you pay for. The problem with the free ones, sometimes they'll restrict you to one hour a day uh, or they've, they've got pop-up adverts coming up all the time. And you've got to ask yourself, if they offer this service for free, how do they make any money? How do they stay in business? And that, that's how they do it. You know, they, they'll um, put a lot of adverts on or they'll limit the time. Um, the reason they limit the time is because if you get used to that VPN, then you might get fed up of 
getting chucked off at, uh, your VPN and, and then you'll sign up for a subscription. They are very cheap. There are some very, very good ones out there and they can start from as little as $5 a month, $6 a month. And my recommendation, guys, if you're gonna use a VPN, just sign up and pay that very small amount. It will just save you so much hassle. You know, you won't be limited to uh, just maybe one hour a day. You won't have adverts popping up. The connection will be much, much better. How it actually works is if you're in Thailand, you're sitting in a hotel room and you logged on, for instance, to Netflix in the UK, what it does, it diverts your IP number to a server anywhere in the world. All the um, uh, VPN, such as NordVPN, they have, I believe, it's 80 servers around the world. So you, you know, you, they'll have one in the UK, they'll have one in Mexico, one in America. They're, they're all over the place. Um, and as I say, the paid VPNs seem to be the best way to go. You've got to be careful because um, you know, obviously, hackers can use them as well. They use. I don't mean you have to be careful because something will go wrong for you, but, you know, con men and scammers, they use VPNs so they can't be tracked where they're coming from. Okay, so, um, you know, there's lots of other channels. I'm just referring to my notes here. You know, there's HBO, the Disney Channel. I know you won't watch a Disney Channel, but if you're in Thailand with your kids, they might want to watch their favorite um, saved programs on the Disney Channel. Internet banking we've already mentioned and the price we've already mentioned. So what I'm going to do... I've put a, a full in-depth uh, information, a, a, a paper, I've typed this all up and it's on my website. I'm going to put a link over this video. So if you want to really look in depth and read about each one of the VPNs, the companies that supply this information, free and paid for service, the, the free and the paid for service, then if you go to the link that's up on screen, that'll take you to my website. There's a full explanation for each VPN and what they do and why I recommend them. And then under that, in the description to this video, there's several that I've put links to that you can go directly to and have a look at them. If you don't want to go to my website, they'll take you straight to the VPNs. And uh, as I say, it's all explained fully in on, on the website. So I think what I'm going to be doing in the future, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of these informational uh, style videos, not more, more things that you wouldn't have thought of, you know, for instance, like this VPN, if you're going to retire, you're going to think about your visa, your apartment, uh, how much you need a month, but this is something you might not think about, and you might not think while you're in your country that it's that important, but you know, there's nothing more frustrating when you're sitting in your uh, condo or your hotel room, you want to watch uh, something that you're used to watching and you just can't access it, so that's the whole point of a VPN, but as I say, go, away, go ahead and, uh, you know, click on that link and have a have a, a, a read of all the details and I hope this video has been helpful once again sorry about this awful background it's just it's just time I'd rather get the video out to you than uh, you know waste lots of times messing about with a with a background so as always guys thanks for watching this one any comments leave them below and I'll catch you probably next week for another video mm -hmm.